truly, it's changed my whole thought process completely. Um, it's, it's actually, I've already seen the opportunities at work that it's, it's opened up for me. Um, they say that education pays, it definitely pays. Uh, I have opportunities at work for advancement that I, that I didn't have the chance at. You can before. do it at any age. I started back at age 48, and um, I'm 50 now. I'm going to graduate in May, hopefully, and I'm so proud of myself. I built so many great relationships here that carried over to main campus. So if I, you know, if I needed something, um, I could start with somebody at the Grant County Center and they would immediately point me in the right direction because they know, you know, exactly what I need to know up on main campus. So it worked out, you know, really wonderfully for me. in the history of our university, a relatively short 30-year history, I might add, but, but in the history nonetheless, I believe this is the first time that the Board of Regents have met uh, in a community away from the Highland Heights campus. And that's how special this community is to us, and it's how special we view this partnership and our future with all of you. Uh, you have accomplished something very special, and be proud of it. Look in the mirror when you go home tonight and say, I did something special today uh, for generations. Wonderful. Congratulations, and we look forward to many, many years of partnership with this community. Thank you. This whole center was community driven. Uh, Grant County did some research, or some research came to them. I think that's what happened. It came to their Chamber of Commerce in Grant County back in 1997, about then. They found that their county had one of the lowest levels of college education in the state. So that motivated the Chamber of Commerce to really make an effort to try to figure out how can we get more people college educated in our county? What can we do to do this? And a group, just a very small group of people in the county got together to figure out how can we improve that level and bring that up. The community came together in a way that, that uh, is just extremely unusual and, and uh, very praiseworthy. They actually provided the facility uh, and said, you know, we'll, we'll uh, put together the building, we will uh, provide the maintenance of it and the cleaning of it and all of that. We just want you to bring down the faculty. And so our original facility was just a couple of miles from our current facility and it was um, a daycare that they refurbished and actually the building uh, they weren't able to, to get it ready on time just because it was such a big job so we actually started in the basement of a church next door to that and uh, we even had some students who were taking their first college classes in the same room where they had gone to preschool so it was just a very funny coincidence that way Big pair of scissors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's all in here. Wayne. Yeah. Come on, Sally. Come on. Sally. Yeah, you can do the big. You do the real. Can reach. There you go. I can reach it. Go ahead. After five years of being at the daycare center and the church that we had outgrown it. So the Chamber of Commerce, again, very much coupled with other people in the community and the Grant County Foundation on Higher Education and also the advisory board for the Grant County Center all met and started talking about this. And Williamstown said, hey, we've got an old city building here that's just sitting there. It was in pretty poor condition. There were ceiling tiles just hanging. There was standing water in some of the rooms. The community had a man magnificent fundraiser and raised the funds from all the businesses and private donors in the community to renovate that building.
I started out here taking, you know, general education requirements, um, English 101 and 201 and those sorts of things. Um, and I, w I was really looking um, at first into a career in teaching in teaching high school English and literature. So um, Professor Matt Birkenhauer here at the NKU Grant County Center um, helped kind of get me to a, to a place where I was ready to go go forward and go straight into the English department and really major in English with an education backup. Um, that didn't quite work out for me in the long run. I decided to become a public relation major, um, but it, you know he, he really was a great catalyst and a great liaison for me um, to meet some people on main campus so that I would have a good relationship and be ready to, uh, to really take on some of those higher level education classes. Uh, I live four miles away. I work less than half a mile from campus here at Grand Canyon campus, so I can work eight to five, and I can run home and get a sandwich. I can come back and make it for class and not be so crunched. Uh, and it, it just, and I can take a class two nights a week, three nights a week, it really depends upon how much effort I want to put into it. Myself, not having any college experience at all, it's been wonderful. I think having the smaller classrooms, we just really get a chance to know the students and, and it helps draw that out and, and we're able to see that in a way that a faculty person never could at some schools where you have lecture halls of 500, 700 students in them. The campus and the people here care about the students. They're so much more personable. The professors would come before to meet you or stay after to stay late with you if you needed help. I had a professor, uh, Professor Colbert, had psychology 100, had the next step to take the next psychology class, and it was completely online with a different professor from Northern Kentucky campus. So she offered, understanding that uh, a lot of different ones in the same class that was with me was mostly non-traditional students. We're not quite up with the technology maybe as some of the younger kids are. Recognizing that, she offered her services to meet with us once one night a week for a little bit of time if we was having issues or we had any questions or anything that she could help us get over a few hurdles. I just try to stay actively involved with NKU and specifically this center because I know how much it meant for me and I know there's other individuals out there that aren't even aware of the opportunities here. Um, this is so much more convenient for everyone here. I mean, if, if you don't take advantage of it being in your back door, you're making a huge mistake because that's what's so good about it.